The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. This chosen race, Israel, entered into covenant with God. In fact, two things set Israel apart from the other nations. Number one, they entered into covenant with God and with the sign of circumcision. Now, number two, they had a body of laws that set them apart from the other nations. Now, two things I said separated Israel from the other nation. Number one is circumcision. Number two, a body of laws. Now, so let's take the circumcision. Genesis chapter 17, verse 10 following. Genesis 17 from 10 following. This is my covenant with you and your descendants after you. The covenant you are to keep. Every male among you shall be circumcised. There is a discord between God and Abraham. You are to undergo circumcision. And it will be the sign of the covenant between me and you. Now, won't you come in a chetia? Now, I am in a momentum up on no end century. Now, this was very tough, tough <laughs> sign. Now, enough from Kra. Yeah. And it will be a sign of the covenant between me and you. Now pay attention to verse 12. For the generations to come, every male among you who is eight days old must be circumcised, including those born in your household or brought, bought with money from a foreigner. Those who are not your offspring. Now, Obereme Biara, Wedi and Na Wakeno, Munchano Chetia, Mo, I want to attuas when you name, the Wawuno, Ufia, and the Wadisica, a ton or Hope Biara, Onya Wasinino, and Chain. Now, whether born in your household or bought with your money, they must be circumcised. Wawuno, Fio, or the Sicane Cotton, or Befio, Winchano Chetia. My covenant in your flesh. Is to be an everlasting covenant. Now remember that he is saying that this circumcision should be an everlasting covenant. Any uncircumcised male who has not been circumcised in the flesh will be cut off from his people. He has broken my covenant. Now Stephen affirms this in Acts chapter 7 verse 8. Now we Stephano Osi Sudia Ewa Asuma Fodu Numano a tin so nyumu and what you hold. Then he gave Abraham the covenant of circumcision. Now or the and Abraham became the father of Isaac and circumcised him eight days after his birth. Now Abraham Isaac Now Ishmael was circumcised on the thirteenth day. Now Ishmael And the apostle Paul said that he was circumcised on the eighth day, trying to separate 
his circumcision for Ishmael's circumcision. So a true Israelite who belongs to this covenant is circumcised on the eighth day. As much as Paul said, "No, we can't get the other two so we cannot." Now, I pray, 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 so Israel entered into covenant with God, sealed with the sign of circumcision. Now because Israel was a type of the church, the apostle Paul trying to link us to Israel and trying to say that we are an anti-type of the church in the wilderness, he says something to all of us, the new creation, in Colossians 2, verse 11. He says, Israel for Abra Bohuntin, no country, come once him, now Mummy and Shesedia or Kano five. Now, verse chapter two, Colossians two, eleven says this In him that is in Jesus. You were also circumcised with a circumcision not performed by human hands. Your whole self, ruled by the flesh, was put off when you were circumcised by Christ. He is saying that we too, when we we, be, we become Christians, we are circumcised. Yeah. But our circumcision is not by hands, but our whole self uh, was put off by circumcision in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Now the second thing that separated Israel from the others was the body of laws. Now in Exodus chapter 19 and 20, God gave Israel some moral laws. Okay, now he gave them many other laws and we put all of them together saying that they were a body of laws but this is what Moses said about the law Deuteronomy 4 verse 5 Deuteronomy 4 verse 5. See, I have taught you decrees and laws as the Lord my God commanded me so that you may follow them in the land you are entering to take possession of it. So when you enter into the land, remember to observe the body of laws. That will separate you from the other nations. Now they were to teach their children and impress upon them. So that the next generations after them will know them. And will not forget the deeds of the Lord God of Israel. Now so by the circumcision and the body of laws the Jewish people were to see themselves as a unique race, a people of God, a holy nation. Now let me just take that one again. By the circumcision and the body of laws, the Jewish people were to see themselves as a unique race, a people of God, a holy nation. Beyond these two, their, their confidence were, was boosted with the knowledge that 
the knowledge that their God is the greatest of all the gods. And this was backed by empirical evidence. Provable, verifiable experience that they were a nation with the greatest of all the gods as their law. It was not just knowledge or somebody telling them stories. They saw it with their own eyes. You can ask Pharaoh. Pharaoh will testify to that. Now, Deuteronomy chapter 4. Deuteronomy 4. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 32 downwards. Ask now about the former days, long before your time, from the day God created human beings on earth. Ask for one end of as from one end of the heavens to the other, has anything so great as this ever happened, or has anything like it ever been heard of? Now, mumu kwambo and shamechi. If you da when yanko pombo, nipa bas as he so. Now, mumu sa in free or sorrow and no and copem and no. So, why you be beer at this a sankesi and now say what as any other people heard the voice of God speaking out of fire as you have and lived na se o men bi ate o nyankopon ne se efri o jamure kasa se de mate yi na wa nyankwa has any god ever tried to take for himself one nation out of another nation by testings by signs and wonders, by war, by a mighty hand and an outstretched arm, or by great and awesome deeds, like all the things the Lord your God did for you in Egypt. And as when you come on, be a so ashe. Say, Obeko ako yu oman bi efri oman bi mu afawo soche akudo and sentry ne ne awon wade ne akudie ne ensa e den ne basa watene ne ahudwire de akesie mu se de awurade wo nyankopon ye ma mo misrim wo mu nyina mo nim no ana na let's take 35 the big one mu mien hwe ne kese pa no o yimu aduasa enum no na if you can read just join me in reading you were shown these things so that you might know that the lord is god besides him there is no other so when they say na wo die wa ma wa hunu na wa hunu say urade ni nyankopon a obi ni ho enka no you see this knowledge was not the reserve of uh, the preserve of the Israelites. The other nations came to understand this one. Deuteronomy 32, 31. Deuteronomy 32, 31. Now, this is what the Israelites will say. Their rock is not like our rock. As even our enemies concede. Their rock is not like our rock. Their God is not like our God. Even Pharaoh is aware. Even the, the, the kings of the nations are aware. They just go and ask Jericho, why did they lock their their city. See, I'm praying that we will know our God. So those who know their God, they will be strong and do exploits. So if there is an average Israelite was so proud of the great God they had. And they were proud to say to each other, 
come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before him with thanksgiving. And install him with music and songs. Why? For the Lord is the great God. The king above all gods. He said when all the gods meet, he is the king. The king above all gods. So this holy nation, they were to stay away from pollution. As in indulging in the practices of the nation. So they were raised to know that they are set apart. By circumcision. By body of law. And that their God is the greatest of all the gods. That with this knowledge, they were to set themselves apart. As a holy nation, not indulging in the pollution of the evil deeds of the other nations. Now, Deuteronomy chapter 7 from verse 3. Do not intermarry them. Do not give your daughters to their sons or take their daughters for your sons. For they will turn your children away from following me to serve other gods. And the Lord's anger will burn against you and will quickly destroy you. Now, we be Makuma, I could do one young coupon, a chi, now, one young coupon, a buffo, a bed chi, a tiam. This is what you had to do to them break down their altars. Smash their sacred stones, cut down their Asherah poles, and burn their idols in the fire. We any dear Munya Wong, Monse Wenyame, Mundere Wunya Wahoni, Nanya Wasuminara, Monsi Wong Pasa. Why? I didn't hear. Now, verse six. Shall we read together? For you are a people holy to the Lord your God. The Lord your God has chosen you out of all the peoples on the face of the earth to be his people, his treasured possession. Yes. You see, Peter lifted this verse. And then referred it to the New Testament. When he said, You are a chosen generation, a holy priesthood, separated unto God, to show forth his glory and praise to the other nation. Now, Israel was then dispersed among the nations. So in the knowledge that they were a unique people, a people belonging to God, that they had the greatest of all the gods, and that they should stay away from the evil deeds of the other nations. Now, God raised them in his wisdom and dispersed them among the nations to possess it. Why? Because they were priests to the nations. But he needed to equip them. Bring them to some understanding. So that when he released them amongst the people, they will be God's special possessions indeed. Deuteronomy 6 verse 1. Saying that the agenda was to possess the nations. These 
these are the commands, decrees, and the Lord, the laws the Lord your God directed me to teach you. To observe in the land that you are crossing the Jordan to possess. Now chapter 7 verse 1. These are chapter 7 verse 1 when the lord your god brings you into the land you are entering to possess yes read on the hittite the gagisite the ammonite the seven nations larger and stronger than you so all the size 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 they were all creations of god but when you enter into them know who you are and don't be like them that's all that he's trying to say chapter 8 verse 1 be careful to follow every command I'm giving you today so that you may live and increase and may enter and what? Possess the land the Lord promised on oath to your ancestors. Sometimes people ask, Where did you get the possession in the nation? I got it from here. Now, chapter 9, verse 1 to 3. Here, Israel, you are now about to cross the Jordan. To go in and dispossess nations greater and stronger than you. With large cities that have walls up to the sky. doesn't matter how high they are, their walls are. Trust me, say, Israel, tea. Will be try your dine, a co a co two, a man, a man was so so not one we had ding a sinner war. I found grow a cassia, what to two one, first so a co so and found this in here a covium a co drew. Now, verse two. The people are stronger and tall, Anakites. You know about them, and I've heard it said, who can stand up against the Anakites? But wherever you are, let us rise and read verse 3. It doesn't matter who the Anakites are. But be assured today that the Lord your God is the one who goes across ahead of you like a devouring fire. He will destroy them, he will subdue them before you, and you will out and annihilate them quickly. As the Lord has promised you. Yes. So it's not so much about us. But the Lord our God will destroy them. Yes. Please take your seats. Now we will possess the nation. It doesn't matter how tall their walls are. The Lord will do the dispossession. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. What did this mean? To the Israelites practically. They were to spread widely the knowledge that God is one and that any group of people who put their trust in God will be blessed. Now, Number two, they were to be teachers of the wisdom of God 
to the nations by observing the body of laws God has given them. Now, what does this mean? They were to be teachers of the wisdom of God to the nations by observing the body of laws God has given them. What does this mean? Now Deuteronomy 4 verse 5 and 6. Now we read the verse 5. So let's take the 6, 7 and 8. Observe them carefully. For this will show your wisdom and understanding to the nations. Who will hear about all these decrees and say, Surely, this great nation is a wise and understanding people. So, I say, Now, share me, chere, chere, ne, ma, shedie, ne, ma, temu, die, sedie, uradi, munya, and kupon, share, mono, se, munye, sa, na, we are still a man, you know, be, hunu, mono, be, hunu, se, now you observe the laws. And the products will be teaching the other nations the wisdom of God. And they will say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. What other nation is so great? As you have their God near them, the way the Lord our God is near us, wherever, whenever we pray to Him. And what other nation is so great as you have such righteous decrees that and laws? As this body of laws I'm setting before you today. Now, on my bang, and we want to say, Pa, and in the pa, who be to me, I can say, Nia Midi Mummy, what they better to want to say, Dia Midi and Mamma and Nay. You see, brothers and sisters, I don't know. Part of the incentive to keep the commands of God was missiological. Oh, sure. And no man a bit free, dear, will be the Onyanko Pomra and Semnoa or the Mawa no son, and they say, will be to me a Jaffo for Abraham. You see, the blessing derived from obeying God's commands will show to the other nations Israel's wisdom and understanding. In Shira, Onyanko Pom, or the Bed Dumwan, and it says, will Dinamar and Semno, so we are singing about whom Israel, Yansa, and in India, Yamedia Dumwan. Such wisdom. Would, would draw attention not only to Israel, but ultimately to the God of Israel. Yes, the God of wisdom. And what would they do? Invariably, they will turn unto the Lord. You see, Israel trusted this instruction of God. And naturally prayed that they will come through. That through them, his ways will be made known among the other nations. I like Psalm 67. Uh, many times I'll go and read Psalm 67. But one day I decided to reverse and read Psalm 66. And I thought that 66 was challenging 67. Now, I said, and but look at the average Israelite. Look at the song they sang and the prayer they prayed, Psalm 67. Many times I prayed May God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face shine on us. Now, when the Lord blesses us, why are they praying that God should bless us? Look at the next verse. So that your ways may be known on earth, your salvation among all nations. Now, 
You see, so Israel knew the strategic position they occupy. And the Israel for no one in the Bible, say God bless us for the sake of the nation. Bless us. Verse 3 says that may the peoples praise you, God. May all the peoples praise you. And you more, Emmy and Sandy say, Manipanina, and ye, why, yeah, Manipa. So that is what they desire. That was the agenda. That was why God dispersed them. May people know God because of you. This is what we mean by the possessing the nation's agenda. Verse 4 says this. May the nations be glad and sing for joy. For you rule the the peoples, when you say peoples, we are talking about those who are non Israelites with equity and guide the nations of the earth. So, somebody say, Among any budget now, what to a Hosa and Yom say, who put a ten train now what church as a singing so a man crying. Number five, no, no, may the peoples praise you, God, may all the peoples praise you. When you're coupon, a man be you, I the land yields its harvest. God, our God, blesses us. As I say, Abonadriani, Unyankupong, ye, ye nyankupong, Vishraye. Now let's shout the verse seven. If he ye kind, ye toss on son, ye tiem. May God bless us still, so that all the ends of the earth will fear him. Unyankupong, Vishraye, na wa wa tia sa se anunina esrodo. Then I read Psalm 66. Let's just read verse 8. Praise our God, all peoples. Let the sound of his praise be heard. They were determined that the peoples join them to praise our God. So it was God's purpose that Israel did not become a terminal of his blessings but a channel of his blessings. So because the promise to Abraham and by extension to Israel was that in you shall all the peoples on earth be blessed. Abraham, our num Israel Munise or Nam so epeme we are singing a enya or nunya means. So Israel desired that through them the nations would be blessed. Israel na pedi and say or num wo move me we are singing a enya in Sida. They sang about that and they prayed about it. But to where would you know a boy home pie? And they look forward to it. Abrivium no shall cry say praying for the day that the nations will join them in praise of their God. And that a man in our baby come on no way you will yank upon a year. Each Israelite was therefore a player in a grand story that struck beyond the boundaries of his life. And to Osha, Israel, for one Samoa, a quatra one Casa Senia, one more day, and answer Babia one, Bobre Eco Duno, Obi Biara, a war, Bia Oye, a war, a seminum, or even his own land. A war on one Casampo, Nasasso. Every one of us has a part to play here. Let us pray and desire that all the peoples, because of us, will praise the Lord. God will bless us. And when He blesses us, it has a missiological effect. It is not just for your consumption, it is that people will see. The glory of God on your life and run unto their maker. Let's put a comma here. I'm not sure we will die uh, <laughs> next week. Next week we'll be around. <laughs> and then we'll come and continue. Now, as we talk about Israel, I pray and hope that you understand your role. And the role of the church universal. Possessing the nations. I'm an agent of transformation. Possessing the nations. Transforming my world.